4th of November 2023. This is a what a fuck moment, and it's a what a fuck moment that I wanted to do a long time ago already. But it's been milling in my mind, but the last few days things have become really crazy. And this is about all these, I want to call it absurd theories that are being published with great enthusiasm and people go zonkers about it. But nobody really sits and think about the facts and try and imagine for themselves this cock that I'm busy sharing here, could it possible, possibly be? Could it be? The most recent one that is running around is this one with Cyril getting off the plane and they scanning his hand. All of a sudden everybody fucking promotes that he's been chipped. Now I'm just going to ask you, during the pestilence, that is how they took your temperature at most shops. But no, this looks lacquer and let's call it Cyril has been chipped. Look at the guy that is scanning. That's an airport laborer. Why the hell would Cyril let the airport laborer scan his chip if it was a chip? But now let's run with a conspiracy theory. Then there's people that publish these 40 page long documents that the Balfour agreement cuck is now expired and what and they make a hell of a lot of noise about it. And then I ask myself, okay, wh wh what does that really mean? Does that now mean that Israel will be sold tomorrow on uh, auction? What? What does it mean? I get this pages long fucking document posted of how Cyril is connected to the Rothschilds. Uh, okay, so what about it? What about that? Why the fuck must I see 40 pages of that cock? What does it really mean? Who's going to do something? Then we see these pages and pages that are being shared and videos and what about how we were fucked with the pestilence stories and what it was really about and all that cock. And then I say to myself, okay, and what now? Where's the action? Who's going to take action here? Nobody takes action but millions fucking share this shit. And then you've got that crazy crowd. They tell you there is an underground rail connection between New York and Tokyo. The, the elite, they can travel from New York to Tokyo in 40 minutes. And I say, okay. My dad was a my dad was a uh, was a shaft sinker at a stage in his life. I know a little bit about tunnels. I say to these guys, okay, first thing, who the fuck built the thing? When was it built? Where is all the earth material that has been removed to make room for this fucking tunnel? Where is it? Don't tell me it's been pumped into the sea for fuck's sake, then they will flood the tunnel. Then the next question, how the donor did they go across the Mariana Trench? There should be a pipe there, a tube. If there's a tube, why has nobody done a video and put it on YouTube about it? Then there's the next question, what fucking train is it that can travel 40 minutes from New York to Tokyo? Where does that technology come from? Oh, and then those crowds of the Red Terrican, no. 16 kilometers below the Earth's crust, below us, is a whole fucking species of aliens living. Cities and mines and whole operational environment. And I say, okay, the deepest gold mines, they're about two kilometers. And the people suffer like hell from the heat there. There is scientific documents that tells you they drill up to a certain depth, I think it's 5.7 kilometers or something like that. And it is so hot that the drill bit starts melting. No, oh, but there's a whole fucking civilization living 16 kilometers below the Earth's crust. Okay. But this is the type of shit that the people keep on pushing. And unfortunately, 
There's a lot of brainwashed idiots that fall for that cock and they don't ask the questions. How is this possible? And do simple maths. What is the sense in telling me South Africa is actually a corporation registered on the New York Stock Exchange? You know, okay. Let's say you're right. Then you are implying that my land that I've got and for which I've got a deed doesn't belong to me. It belongs to that fucking corporation in New York. The legal implications, the legalities, that corporation cannot claim South Africa as its asset. Fuck. Think before you start spreading cuck like that. With the pestilence we saw, how they ran over us with cuck, with people walking in the streets, videos of people walking the street and mooring down and dead. Cuck like that. Reality is, it happens now. People walk and blocks them down dead. But there is millions of documents showing how that plan of Triple X was executed. But here comes the kicker. Those fucking Triple X agents are still walking around freely and making TV shows and standing on stages and telling us we'll have to eat insects and all that cuck. The world has gone fucking bonkers. But it is because common sense fucked off out of the room. And the people look at the two minute TikTok video and then their whole fucking world collapses. They don't think there's videos going around of Obama being executed, has been executed already, Hillary has been executed. What, you, I don't even want, I call it the Q gang. It is the most fantastic shit that they can come out with. Let's stick to the facts. Let's to, stick to reality. We, the people, we actually have all the power. But that little cabal, triple X cabal, has brainwashed you to a point that makes you feel that you are powerless. And then you look at what they're doing in us, in our communities, how they are pitching us against one another. They use religion, they use language, they use culture, they, they use anything. They use race, all of that cuck, just to keep us busy. While they are stealing like hell. So before you start sharing shit about 16 pages of Cyril's connection to who knows what, Israel going to be sold on an auction, before you do that. And then there's the one another unit that the guys are running now with. This thing that they want to build an alternative for the Suez Canal out of the Gulf of Aqaba. Now, let me just tell you this. Go and look at the Gulf of Aqaba. One side is Egypt, other side is Saudi Arabia. Both. Not Western puppets. Then go and look at the entrance to the Gulf of Aqaba. And then ask yourself, okay, if this clever Zionists now dig that canal there through Gaza into the Mediterranean Sea as an alternative for the Suez Canal. Because the Suez Canal is so easy to block. Ask yourself how fucking easy it's going to be to block the entrance to the Gulf of Aqaba. Just as easy. But they don't think. It's going to take about 20 years to dig that fucking canal through Israel and it's going to take trillions of dollars. Where's the money going to come from? Where's the 20 years? If they block the Suez Canal tomorrow, that route is cut off. Supply lines to Europe is cut just there. Where's your Ben-Gurion Canal? 20 years in the future. But another reality, don't look where Algeria sits. With the technology of today, with missiles and shit, Algeria can block that gate of Gibraltar and the Mediterranean is cut off. So they block the Suez Canal, they block that at Gibraltar and the Mediterranean is no-go zone. And how is that part of Europe, France, Italy, 
How are they going to get supplies in? Ask yourself that question. Before you start sending out this little fucking girl sitting there telling you about the big fucking plane, a canal through Israel, a more realistic thing is the Zionists is trying to convince Egypt to take all the Palestinians from Gaza and in exchange those Khazars will settle a huge portion of Egypt's debt at the IMF or the World Bank. That's more realistic. Could it be executed? I don't know because the problem is that the whole non-West is now ganging up against Israel. And if Egypt does something like that, because all the other Arabian states have said, Zap, no, we're not taking any Palestinians. And then there's people that think, think the Arabs are blocking the Palestinians because they are cruel. They're blocking the Palestinians because they know that the fucking Khazars, Zionists, want to steal the old bloody Gaza. Why? For that gas. That's why they want to steal Gaza. So, you must think carefully before you start spreading videos and sharing videos about Cyril being chipped and Cyril is part of Rothschild's organization and Israel will be sold because their company has now expired or what. There's people living 16 kilometers below the earth, not people, aliens living 16 kilometers below the earth and they're controlling the whole earth and all that cock. There's a railway line going from New York to Tokyo. Think before you share shit like that. Look at realities. Look at realities. We have been screwed with that snake bite. That's a reality. Question is, what are you going to do about the donors that unleash the snakes amongst us? That is what you should focus on. Not bullshit. Because all it does is keeping you busy. Keeping you busy. Making your mind spin. Making you feel as if you're in quicksand. That is why you've got brains. That is why you've got intelligence. Think about these things. Don't just spread the cock. Because that is how they're keeping us busy. While they're doing the real cock. The real cock. They're poisoning us. That's the real cock. They're planning to fuck our food production. That's real cock. Cyril is planning to privatize everything of value that the state has and then collapses the republic. That's real. Julius Malema is trying to ignite a civil war. That is real. Focus on those things. Because those are the things that will determine your future. Not this cuck about people, things, living 16 kilometers below, below the earth and feeding the military industrial complex with Wars of secret weapons and don't fall into that trap. Think about these things. Cyril gets off the plane and hold his hand to be scanned. So his temperature. That was in an airport in a country that are now again COVID before. No 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 no, he was chipped. And then there's this latest story. Gauteng is gonna go cashless. Guys, Gauteng can't keep the fucking lights on. So if the power fails, there's no money and no way in which commerce can happen. Think about that. The reality is, we are being faced with an evil cabal that want to wipe us all out. And they're keeping us busy by entertaining us with this bullshit. And the whole day you walk around, Cyril has been chipped, Cyril has been chipped. Meanwhile, they're busy setting the ducks in a row to steal Eskom. Meanwhile, they're setting their ducks in a row to steal all our harbors. No, Cyril has been chipped. Think about these things. Think. Start using your brain. Stop standing there in front of the TV or the radio 
and gulping the bullshit in that is being fed to you. Stop. It's done on purpose. And the purpose is to keep you busy while they doing real shit. Not building a railway line from New York to Tokyo. No, 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 no. They're busy stealing your pension. They're busy stealing the mineral assets. They're busy stealing the state assets like ESCO. That is what you should focus on. They're busy lining us up for a civil war. Why? Why? Because in that chaos they can steal and plunder. Don't believe me? Go and see what's going on in the DRC. How many years is that war going on in the DRC? And is there one day that the raw material is not shipped out of the DRC? Think about that. In any case, I'm going to stop this now. But you must think twice before you just almost start sharing cock all over the place. Sit for a moment and ask yourself, is this physically possible? Okay, it might be possible. Who is going to gain what if this is done? Who? Think about that. Who will benefit if this is real? Think about that. No, 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 no. Suddenly so being chipped, fucking hit the share button and throw the thing on 40, 50 of your contacts. Don't do that. All right, it's Saturday, it's bright day, and there's somebody that said me, ah, oh, out. Next generation wouldn't even know what bright is. Yeah, that's good news for him. My next generation will know what bright is, and my grandchildren will know what bright is because I make sure that they know what bright is. Have a great day. Please share the thing and subscribe and like and all that jazz. Thank you for your support.